Hello, Nate the Great is about to kill everyone. Please sit back and enjoy. Thank you. Yo, what's up guys? It's you, Nate the Great, and I am back again with another Contract Wars live commentary. This time with the two brand new uh, credit guns, the IWI, what is it called? 95, X95R assault rifle and the FN FMP 45T semi-automatic pistol. And so these are my very first, or this is my very first game with these guns. Um, based on the stats, they seem really good, but you never really know until you try them out. This assault rifle has a really high rate of fire. Let's see the long range recoil here. Holy crap, that is some low recoil. This this is going to be a powerful gun, I can already tell. Um, the W task for both of these weapons is classified, so I'm not really sure about that yet. I bet I could find it somewhere if I really looked. But I just got these guns and I really wanted to try them out right away. So, let's see. God, this gun is so powerful. It looks like it's going to burn through ammo really quickly, but it's going to be just a powerhouse of a gun. Alright, I'm in a server with a bunch of noobs, so this is going to be a good way to show this gun off. I haven't played Parkside in a while. Let's, let's try out this pistol real quick. Where'd he go? The iron sights look pretty good. I can't stay on target. Seems pretty powerful. I'm not sure yet. Oh, wait. There we go. Finally got him. It might take a, uh, quite a few bullets to kill. I can't tell. Yeah, I don't know how powerful the pistol is going to be, but it seems like the rate of fire is pretty quick. And, uh... It has some pretty high accuracy, it looks like, so that's that's a bonus as well. Let's see. Hip fire works well. I, I do kind of like these iron sights, though. And, uh... That's not bad at all. Let's get this sonar out before I get my next one. There we go. Alright, let's switch back to this assault rifle here. I like the scope. It's uh, kind of like the CAC PDW tier 5, almost. At least that's what it reminds, reminds me of initially. God, this gun is really powerful. I like that um, rate of fire and damage combo. This gun is just lethal, medium range. I bet you could work at close range too. Where is he? Wow. Alright, I was right in front of him. That guy might have had the new premium weapon, I couldn't tell. Hip fire doesn't look like it's going to be that accurate with this gun. I can't tell yet, but it seems like with the rate of fire, it might be better to aim down sights for medium to longer ranges. The hollow sight is kind of a little bit distortion to your view, so I'm not sure how great that's going to be, but so far it looks really good. I don't know. So in longer ranges, it's a little bit harder. You're going to have to burst fire, it looks like. There we go. That was just off target. Yeah, so when you're spraying this gun, unless, of course, you have fire stab, which I don't, um, it's going to be rather inaccurate, it looks like, after about... 
30 meters or so, medium range, uh, 20, 30 meters, medium range. You're gonna have to do short to medium bursts anywhere longer than that. And yeah, it does burn through ammo quite quickly. Oh, got me with the SBU. But I'm doing really well with these guns so far, so. My initial impressions are I really like these guns. <laughs> That's all I can say, really. I'm doing really well in this game with them, so. Let's see. I think I'm gonna definitely going to try to test this gun. I, I really like it already. I don't know. Their repair costs might be really high, I don't know. It is in the final tier, as you probably already know. So, if it goes if it goes with the trend of all the other guns in its tier, it's going to be quite pricey. I don't know if I'll be able to use it all the time. That being said, I do still have a bunch of extra credits laying, or laying around. I was I was expecting these to maybe be a little bit more expensive to initially buy, so I can uh, get some of the one day rentals of the premium weapons uh, with my remaining GP and make some videos on the TPKD or I forget what it's called the TPKD Storm I think it is or TKPD Storm uh, and also the KSG shotgun so those are two videos you can expect coming up soon be sure to stay tuned for that if you're just seeing this video this is the first of mine you're seeing or if you just haven't subscribed yet be sure to do that there's gonna be a lot of cool content coming up especially once I task this gun it's a lot of fun using at least so far so be sure to stay tuned for that stuff That stupid guy jumping around. This might be a rush friendly assault rifle with the high rate of fire and damage. You might be able to just uh, run around in smaller maps and just wreak havoc with this weapon. That's going to be a lot of fun to use. I wonder if the task is uh, storm kills. Because that'll be doable. But if it's, it's like pro kills or triple kills or quad kills or something like that. I don't know. It might be kind of difficult to get the task for this gun. That being said, I have no idea what it is, so I'm not going to judge it right now. I'm guessing it's going to be storm kills for the task, though. Don't quote me on that. Alright, so this game is just about winding down. Sorry. Uh, I hope you enjoyed these brand new weapons uh, I haven't used the pistol very much I'm gonna bring that out again for the final seconds hopefully I can find someone anyone no anyone Bueller Bueller all right so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like on this video leave a comment down below with any suggestions you have for the future and if you haven't already be sure to hit that subscribe button. A lot of good stuff coming up soon. That was a really good game with some really cool new guns. Uh, 35 and 13. Alright, I'll see you next time guys. Bye.